Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to bring you another entry into the free to play series that we've been doing on the channel. We did Black Dwarf, we did Proxima, and now I want to conquer Thanos the Mad Titan. But I wanted to do things a little bit differently this time. Uh, in the past videos, I was doing uh, teams like Journalistic Integrity, uh, Armor Wars, or you know, teams that were very thematic in the sense that they had lots of badges and team up bonuses. If you don't know what those are, there's things like this. Uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit different for this video, just to bring in a little bit more spice, and as well to bring in a few different characters, because I don't want to repeat a lot of the same teams verbatim from the other videos, but I want to uh, showcase different uh, uses for different characters. So these are the teams that I came up with. So this is uh, the Green Thickness team. Uh, I wanted to use Kingpin, but I wanted to use him on a unique team. Uh, normally I would use Kingpin with a physical leadership and someone like Tier 2 Groot or Tier 1 Groot, but uh, we don't want to do that because we want to make this as free to play, quote unquote, as possible, barring like cards and alliance level and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's Hulk's leadership for the physical damage. Kingpin for the DPS and the you know the chub, and then Volstag because he's the new uh, he's the new Fupa King uh, on the block. The main uh, goal in this fight is going to be uh, Kingpin's clones and just keeping them up for as long as possible. Uh, that will basically make or break this fight. I will try to get a little bit busy with Volstag, but I'm not very confident in Volstag's ability to do anything. That was the wrong fucking skill to use. This is a great start. This is not a great start, by the way, guys. So if you run away long enough uh, and the clones establish uh, their uh, aggro, then you don't have to worry too much about that. But otherwise, if uh, Thanos hits you with a debuff attack, you'll lose your clones, then you lose your main source of DPS, then you're unhappy, then you start to eat a lot, then you gain weight, then you feel unhappy, then you eat more. And it becomes this vicious cycle. I wanted to switch there because I wanted to give a, Volstag a little bit of love here before uh, too much time passes and I can't use him anymore. Because Thanos is only going to get harder. It's sad that I walked into that punch because I really wasn't trying to. Alright, we're into the second phase. I think we got the clones off before he... Oh, I ran the wrong way. Before he raged out. But this is a pretty good setup because we get some free pot shots in with the clones. We just have to be careful. Yeah. But this is a really good part of the fight now. The first phase is probably the most difficult because that's when Thanos debuffs the most often. Uh, he gives us a pretty, a few pretty good opportunities when he does this ground pound to just summon and DPS from far away. So this is actually a perfect time to use a character that has clones or summons, uh, even on the likes of Kingpin, who's not tier two able yet. We're into the last phase here for regular Thanos, where he's going to go and drop his meteors on us. We don't want to lose Volstag, so we're actually going to switch to Hulk and try the side running technique, and it looks like it's working. Um, and then as soon as he... Oh, we were a little bit early, but we wanted to do that as soon as he attacked us to give ourselves that little bit of invincibility. Here, we want to take advantage of the ground pound and do the clone action again. Uh, if he's targeting the clones, hopefully he doesn't move towards me. If he's targeting the clones when uh, he goes into the meteors, he probably will just... Oh, see, that was the worst timing possible. This is also really bad. Would rather lose Hulk than anyone else, so that's why I switched twice. Probably gonna lose Hulk here. Lost Hulk. Got the uh, damage immunity at least, which is good. We don't want to switch just yet to Kingpin, because I'm worried that he's gonna do another... Okay. That's what I was worried about, and I would rather lose Volstag in that situation. I don't know if the clones got enough aggro. They did, but I think they're all dead. Oh, wow, they're still alive. Oh, that's really unfortunate. And so is that. This might make the fight much... Wow, Volstag! I was going to say, this is going to make the fight more difficult, but dude can run! He booked it across the map. Have to switch, or I'll lose Volstag. So I lost Volstag, then I got debuffed, so that's going to fuck this one right up. Yeah, this is going to be very tough now. I need the clones, but then I need to run the fuck away. I still have a lot of time left, I just don't have a lot of HP left. He's going to... Yeah. Okay, this could be bad. Or it could be good. He's so close to dying. Oh, please kill him. 
Yes, awesome. First try, so happy with that. I had my heart in my throat on that one, boys, so there was not too much time for commentary. Definitely raised my blood pressure on that one a little bit, which is nice. Just for some good luck, let's check the shop real quick. I think I already checked it recently for an obelisk, yes, but let's double check it for some debris boy action and some gear up girl action. Haven't done that in a long time. Actually, don't really need to do it at all anymore, but feeling the luck on that first try with uh, Team Green Thickness. So uh, for all you free to play noobs out there, Team Thickness, Team Green Thickness, whatever the fuck I called it, definitely one of the best teams to beat Thanos with. You saw it here first, uh, one shot, one kill, two birds, one stone. My math is amazing. Up next, we have Men Without Fear. This is the Men Without Fear for the Men Without Fear bonus, but this will be primarily a showcase of Black Panther. That's what I want to use him for. That's why I wanted to construct the team in this way for lots of good bonuses, for a cool team name, and then for the uh, you know effectiveness of Black Panther to be highlighted. So here again, we're only going to go with one tier two striker, but it's kind of he's kind of a useless tier two striker. Uh, Groot only strikes when you get hit, so it's not something that's going to be very good. It might actually be good, be good for uh, Black Panther because he should be immune when he's being hit a lot of the time. We're taking advantage of the new uh, addition to Black Panther and the buff that makes him immune when he uses his fifth skill, which should be... Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. That's also not what I wanted to do. Black Panther... Wow. Wow. I just interrupted myself. I don't know why I did that. I was really hoping Groot would drop a heal bubble. Yeah. See, even I was trying to, I was just trying to get into an attack, and there's just a brief, there's the briefest of moments um, when Black Panther is going into his animation, just before. It's not an instant iframe. There's definitely a slight pause. Clip zone. Don't want to get punished by lasers. Kind of got punished by lasers. Gotta interrupt him here. If we see him going into the, uh, if we can actually even see him, we want to try to interrupt him going into the, um, no, okay. We triggered our five seconds of immunity, so we should not get damaged here, which is nice. And we can trigger this again, but we had to switch there because I wasn't sure if I was going to have time. We really want Groot to drop a heal. We really need that heal bad because we're basically down to our last legs here. We're trying to, there we go. We got we got him kicked out, but fuck, he's punishing us now because we had to use the fourth skill proactively to kick him out of the meteor shower because if we don't, we're going to have other problems, but now the problem is basically that we don't have enough health. That's the biggest problem here. Ooh, that was lucky as fuck. Come on, Groot. Drop a heal. Drop a spore, dude. I, 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 Black Panther may have another small iframe that I'm not totally aware of, but again, I have very little practice with this character, so I'm just trying to squeak out a victory here. Hopefully the, he doesn't kill us both. Oh, okay, I think we got it with this last flurry of hits here. Wow. Could not have been closer. A minute 20, which is time to spare, but no health remaining, um... That was pretty intense, and I kind of want to take a breather after it. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna go on to the next one here. We have the recycling squad. Uh, this one I found uh, particular humor in putting together. Of course, we have to start with the garbage man himself, Ultron. Then we have uh, a couple of fan favorites here in Nebula and Hulkbuster. So this team is probably gonna be the worst one uh, to actually try to to defeat Thanos with. Um, the idea here is to cycle through um, all of the best skills. Use Ultron's minions, the way I use Kingpins, but then for Nebula and Hulkbuster, just cycle through their best skills, their sixth, their uh, five, f fifth skills, and uh, try to get enough damage through that way. Ultron needs like a lot of love. I think the only character with an iframe on this whole team is Nebula with her uh, fifth skill. He's gonna do the meteors, and then I'm gonna die. And then I'm gonna- Oh, no, no, no! Get in the bubble, get in the bubble, get in the bubble! The bubble will save you. The bubble is all-knowing. 
No, 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 dude. Dude! No! Why did you kill Hulkbuster? That's not cool at all, dude. Yeah, they just get... They just get trashed by that. Totally dunked. Like, they don't even... They don't even get to make an attack. That's how bad it is. Is Ultron even fast enough to outrun? No, he's not. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna run out of... Uh, via wow, the DPS is so bad. That was literally 20,000 DPS. So awful. Alright, here we go. Next round. Let's get it in, boys. We can do it. The Recycling Squad will be victorious. We will teach Thanos how to reduce and reuse. And he will learn that a harmonious environment where plastics and uh, bags are, uh, you know, converted into reusable materials is the best way to go. We want to teach Thanos the meaning of life. He's like, hey, you know, I'm all about death. I'm all about destruction. Nah, dude. Recycling is all about rebirth. You see that bottle over there? That's not a bottle, dude. Open your mind. That's, that's Neo's glasses in the Matrix. That's, you know... That's Felicity Huffman's keychain. I don't know who Felicity Huffman is. I just have that name in my head. You know, you we just gotta we gotta open his mind. We're we're like the Sherpa in the mountains, and Thanos is just a backpacker. He doesn't know anything. We can't really blame him. He, he doesn't know any better. Fuck, dude. Don't get so angry. No, do not do that. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. All right, we're on to the next phase, but we're way too far away from Thanos, which is really bad. Oh, we just lost Ultron. No! No! Fuck me, dude. We just want to teach Thanos about sharing. Sharing is caring. Caring is sharing. You got a water bottle. You let your friends use it. You got E. coli. You give it to your friends. It's, it's really simple. You need a, you need a Gogurt. That's, oh, my. I hate that skill so much fucking much. It's unreal how much I hate that skill. Who did the heal circle again? Shit, there's a double heal circle. No! That's for that's for Hulkbuster! No! Ultron! Ultron, you greedy bitch. Ultron, you useless greedy bitch. The main problem with this team is that they're bad and their damage is low and they have no fucking iframes. There's just nothing to protect me whatsoever. I'm, I'm riding on a wish and a prayer. I'm doing my best Korean impression right now, and it's not its not really cutting it. You're so horrible. It's painful. It pains me to see you like this. Like seeing... Oh, it's like seeing some of the people from high school who just didn't do anything. Oh, Ultron. You, you used to be something. You used to be somebody. You know? And then you just show up. You're 40 talking about how things used to be back in college if you had made that that you know college team you would have gone pro be soaking it up in a hot tub with your soulmate it's just sad man you just gotta let it go but they all just do horrible skills on team up like if nebula did her her fifth skill on no i was really trying not to lose ultron wow there's too much laser going on here dude you need to chill the fuck out with all these fucking light shows this is gonna end in me getting recycled basically no stop cut it off with the lasers dude the fuck we're not at a diplo show okay you don't need to show me your fucking light show every time i come over to your house i just want to watch some tv always the same thing check out my light show check out my light show hey have i shown you my light show oh 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 i got a really lucky dodge there Meteor time? Yep. Run, fat boy. Definitely not enough there. Gonna debuff me because you're a jerk off. I get it. I get it. You don't want to recycle. I get it. You're a big Wall Street guy. You think you know it all. Uh-huh. Ultron is surprisingly... Yeah. Spoke too soon. Ooh, okay. I don't think we can... I don't think we can get it with that team, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna give up, um, but I think it's doable maybe uh, with better strikers or with uh, somebody instead of, of that leadership there. But I was trying to go for the for the recycling meme, so uh, so that was my best attempt. I think 400,000 is not bad. It's pretty close. If I put in some OP strikers, that's an easy win. 
let's just demonstrate for you guys with with good strikers what that would look like so we're gonna just uh, sub in your typical uh, black order striker list and then watch the uh, the magic happen of course dr. strange will be making an appearance because it's the best of list and enchantress just for fun we're gonna be down to just nebula here yeah this is really bad Nebula needs to run like Dickens. I don't know, did Dickens run? She has so much wind up on her skills that I can't even cast one before I cast the, uh, the six star skill. Okay, we got it there with two minutes left. Nebula was uh, pretty useful, uh, but it was definitely majority uh, rules for the striker list. They did the majority of the damage, and they're definitely the reason why I cleared that in two minutes, or cleared that with two minutes left in three minutes, rather than dying in about three and a half minutes. So if nothing else, that's a lesson in how valuable strikers are. The fourth team on the list is uh, interracial interspecies three-way. And I really enjoyed constructing this team carefully um, and abiding by all international uh, laws and clauses because I think it's hilarious. Uh, primarily, this team is going to rely on Captain Marvel to do the damage and abuse the fact that her fifth, fourth skill, excuse me, her fourth skill binary explosion now gives her immunity. And we're going to load up on uh, energy strikers and we are going to try to get this one on the first try here we go super old veterans of future fight wow here's how not to play as carol danvers so we just use the immunity use the immunity use the immunity run away use the immunity wow it's so annoying how often he pulls and pushes and interrupts in the first phase it makes the fight just frustrating more than anything. Like more than more than like hard, it makes the fight annoying. At least to me. Spider-Man gets in pretty wow. Spider-Man gets in some pretty decent damage as well. Alright, we're going to the second phase here. Trying not to get hit with Camilla, but I was. Oh no, that's bad. It's really bad. You just gotta be careful not to be near that thing when it. Not not to be near Thanos doing that when. Uh, my immunity wears off because that's instant death basically Danvers is really fast that's good for the meteors uh, that's probably one of the things that new players oh that's exactly what I didn't want to do learn from me kids don't drink bleach uh, yeah that's probably one of the best things about Carol Danvers for new players is the fact that she's really really fast especially in her radiant form I believe it gives her an all-speed buff and that will be uh, super useful for outrunning the Meteors. I'm gonna do this first, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then that. So yeah, if you wanna know what the skill rotation is, guys, it's a little bit of this, and then it's a little bit of that. And then it's actually the Mambo number five, if you believe it or not. So let's test out Carol Danvers. Oh, we can't test out Carol Danvers' speed because I knocked him out of his animation. The guard break here is real, guys. It's good that there's some distance, there's some range on that attack. That, that way I can trigger it. Let's test the speed here. That way I can trigger it without getting too close to him when he's doing the ground pound. Alright, let's do it again. Yeah, that's a, that's a comfortable that's a comfortable clear. You don't need I don't think I have very much movement speed on my 
uh, cards and stuff. So I don't think you need to gear for that at all. So I got the immunity, but he interrupted the damage, which is annoying. Oh, I need to get the fuck out of here. What the hell? I Honestly, I feel like my, my pad freezes up sometimes when I'm trying to move it. That was very clutch. This is going to be the end here. Carol Danvers basically solos Thanos with average strikers, average gears. Yes, she's got a uniform, which is nice. But overall, that was a first try as well. And for the last clear, we're going to stay on the, the similar theme here. Now, ideally, I want to use Doctor Strange, but that would uh, betray the spirit of this series. So I want to instead... Um, offer for you guys my list of people who would like to fuck Doctor Strange. And I'm sure that you can appreciate this list for what it is, and we're gonna have fun with this team now. And it's not yet the end, but it will be soon. I don't think Mordo has the gas to outrun the meteors yet. Mordo's very slow. You're such a prick! Alright, people who want to fuck Doctor Strange, take 47. This is this one this one feels like it's gonna be a winner, guys. I can feel it. We got Gwenpool here to protect us. I really wish she would drive the motorcycle in one of her skills. That would be really cool. But, uh, you know, you can't always get what you want. Oh, don't stop punching me. Please stop punching me. Don't do that skill, Baron Mordo. Please don't do that skill. Okay, this is going pretty well. Haven't really gotten hit yet, which is nice. Haven't gotten pulled yet. The pull is really the worst part of it all. If I don't get pulled, oh man. Yeah, not getting pulled is really the difference maker. We're close to him this time, so we should be able to just... Oh, but Baron Mordo decided to attack during the animation. That's fantastic, Baron. Clea's probably the best um, one to deal damage to Thanos while he's doing that uh, ground pound move that he loves to do so much. Just because she doesn't have to be very close to him. Baron Mordo is a pretty good uh, choice as well. Uh, the problem with uh, Iron Man is he needs to be very close for most of his skills. Except for the missile barrage, I guess, but... He also roots himself a lot, which is not good because if you're just a little bit off when you root yourself and then the wave comes and hits you, eh, it's bye bye birdie. We're doing pretty well right now. The main thing is just to keep our, our characters with, with high health in, in, in good spirits, in good fighting. That's a fucking horrible thing. Holy cow. That was really awful. No, please don't get hit. Please don't get hit twice. That's so much worse than once. No, 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 no. Baron, Baron, Baron. Please, please. Oh, I, I misspoke. I said that it was Iron Man's first skill, but it's actually his second skill that has an iframe. Get away, get away, get away, get away. It's his second skill that has an iframe, so... Uh, okay, Clea's dead. I kind of say these things out loud to myself sometimes just to remind myself of what I've got left to play with. Switch to Iron Man because I know he can outrun the Meteors. Oh, please don't. Okay, we can do double spin. Laundry machine. Still get hit. Wow, that's painful. Such punish. Really close here. Very close here. Come on, Mordo. Just a little bit. There we go. A little bit more damage. We got it with a minute 43 to spare. We still had quite a bit of health on Iron Man, so that was 
not a super comfortable victory, but comfortable enough. And there you guys have it. The rewards do not get better if you use shitty teams or if you struggle a lot. So those are the teams that I used to clear Thanos. I want to know what you guys think uh, about the teams, the names, the ideas, and the strategy. So let me know in the comments section. Hopefully you guys will be able to tune in in about uh, 10 hours for the New Year's Eve live stream. I'm super excited for it and I have something special planned for you guys. So I hope that if you're new or returning uh, member to the live stream, you check it out. And of course, as always, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.